Intraperiods regulation of gene expression occurs at the level of transcription. It is mediated by binding of transacting proteins to the cis-acting regulatory elements on the DNA molecule. Transcriptional control in prokaryotes can involve initiation or premature termination. Premature termination of transcription. In prokaryotes, the genes for the proteins which serve as enzymes for a metabolic pathway are often present close to each other on a chromosome along with the DNA sequences called cis acting elements that regulate them. From the transcription of these genes, a polycystronic messenger RNA is produced. Since these genes have common uh, regulatory DNA sequences, these are turned on and off as a unit. This entire package is called an operon. Bacterial operons contain a segment of DNA called the operator. A repressor protein can bind reversibly with the operator. When this protein is not bound to the operator, RNA polymerase can bind promoter which is again a DNA sequence. Then the RNA polymerase may slide past the operator sequence and start the transcription of the genes into the messenger RNA. If repressor is bound to the operator, messenger RNA is blocked and genes are not transcribed into messenger RNA. Sometimes a molecule called an inducer molecule may bind with repressor. This leads to change in the shape of the repressor protein. After this change in shape, the repressor protein fails to attach to the operator. When this happens, the repressor protein cannot block the path of the RNA polymerase and the genes are transcribed. So, here you can see that the repressor protein fails to bind to the operator and now the RNA polymerase can transcribe the genes. The genes for the metabolism of lactose in E. coli are present on lac operon, which can be induced to produce enzymes for the metabolism of lactose. It contains three proteins which are involved in the breakdown of lactose. Lac Z gene codes for beta-galactosidase enzyme which hydrolyzes lactose to galactose and glucose. The lac Y gene codes for the permease, which helps in movement of lactose into the cell. And lac A gene codes for thiogalactoside transacetylase, which acetylates lactose. The physiologic function of this acetylation is unknown. The proteins are produced when lactose is available and glucose is not. Bacteria prefer to use glucose if it is available. The regulatory portion of this operon is located upstream of the genes that consist uh, upstream of these genes and consists of DNA sequences which serve as promoter where RNA polymerase binds, the operator where repressor protein may bind and cap sites where catabolite, catabolite activator protein or cap binds. The lac C, lac Y and lac A genes are maximally expressed when repressor protein is not attached to the operator and the O site is empty and the cyclic AMP is bound to the cap site along with the a cap binding protein. The repressor protein is a transacting element. It is coded by lac L gene which is not part of the 
lack of prawn, it is a constitutive of housekeeping gene. In this case, the lack of prawn is turned off or repressed. Repress repression of lack of prawn occurs through the binding of the repressor protein to the opron. This repressor protein has a helix turn helix motive structure. It attaches to operator which is located downstream of the promoter sequence. This binding interferes with binding of RNA polymerase to promoter region. This is an example of negative regulation. When only lactose is available, in this case the lack of prone is induced, which means that it is maximally expressed or turned on. A small amount of lactose is converted to its isomer LO lactose. This compound binds the repressor protein and changes its shape so that it cannot bind to the operator or oocyte. In absence of glucose, adenylylcyclase is active and cyclic AMP is made which binds to cap protein. This ca cyclic AMP cap complex then binds the cap site causing the messenger RNA polymerase to start transcription of genes for metabolism of lactose with high efficiency. This is an example of positive regulation. The messenger RNA which is transcribed is a single polycystronic molecule which contains three sets of start and stop codons for the three pr proteins it is coding if it's, transla its translation leads to the formation of three proteins required for the metabolism of lactose in contrast to the lac G, lac Y and lac A genes which are regulated the lac L gene is a constitutive gene and always active. When both glucose and lactose are available, in this case the lack of prone is not induced and the transcription is negligible even if lactose is present in high concentration. Because glucose is the preferred fuel, adenylylcyclase is inhibited in presence of glucose so cyclic AMP cap complex is not formed and cap site is empty. Therefore, messenger RNA is unable to trans uh, initiate transcription efficiently even though the repressor protein is not bound to the oocyte. Now coming to another opron, the tryptophan opron. The tryptophan opron consists of five genes that code for the enzymes required for the synthesis of the amino acid tryptophan. This opron can be inhibited by tryptophan, tryptophan itself when tryptophan binds to repressor protein and helps in binding of the repressor protein to the operator. So tryptophan serves as a co-repressor. Repression by tryptophan is not always complete. Therefore, tryptophan opron is also regulated by attenuation. During attenuation, the transcription is started but terminated before completion. When tryptophan has been synthesized in abundance, the process of transcription that started before the tryptophan was able to repress it is attenuated by formation of an attenuator, which is a hairpin-like loop structure similar to row-independent termination of transcription in prokaryotes. Because transcription and translation are coupled in prokaryotes, the attenuation leads to formation of a truncated, non-functional peptide uh, that is degraded. If the amount of tryptophan becomes low, the opron is expressed. There are uh, two codons for tryptophan near 5' end of messenger RNA. If tryptophan becomes low, ribosomes start at these codons, covering the regions of messenger RNA required for the formation of attenuation hairpin. This prevents attenuation and allows the transcription to continue. Regulation in response to amino acid starvation is called stringent response. 
the binding of an uncharged transfer rna to the a site of a ribosome leads to the formation of alarmon guanosine tetraphosphate or ppp gg ppp this is catalyzed by stringent factor rela which is an enzyme associated with ribosomes elevated levels of this alarmon result in inhibition of ribosomal rna synthesis transfer rna synthesis and some messenger rna synthesis however the messenger rna for amino acid biosynthesis is not inhibited ppgg pp binds rna polymerase and alters uh, promoter selection through different sigma factors operons for ribosomal proteins can be inhibited by excess of their own protein products translation of polycystonic uh, rna of each operon may be inhibited by a specific ribosomal protein or r protein the r protein binds to shine delgado sequence on messenger rna upstream of the initiator codon ag thus it acts as a physical barrier and prevents the binding of the rna in the uh, small ribosomal subunit to the shine delgado sequence Thus, one R protein prevents the synthesis of all the R proteins regulated by an operon. The same R protein binds ribosomal RNA with higher affinity as compared to messenger RNA. But if levels of ribosomal RNA fall, it binds its own messenger RNA and stops its translation. This coordinates regulation. Keeps the synthesis of R proteins in balance with transcription of ribosomal RNA. so that each is present in appropriate amounts for the formation of ribosomes so here you can see the r protein bound to the chain delgado sequence